Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 9 for our FortiGate Firewall series. So in this video, we are going to understand the FortiGate interface type virtual wire. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to cover what is virtual wire? What is the use case of that particular virtual wire? How we are going to configure it? And I'll be creating a lab and I'll be configuring virtual lab. I'll show you how exactly this works. I'll be covering in this video. So I'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand this uh, topic and then you can implement where it is possible to implement. Okay. If you are a FortiGate uh, administrator, I'll highly recommend you to please watch till then. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll try and understand what is virtual wire with the help of this screenshot. Okay. So as this is a client machine, this is a switch, this is a FortiGate firewall, this is a router and this is an internet, right? Now basically when you implement virtual wire, basically you are creating a logical wire and you are hiding a FortiGate firewall in between. Okay, so basically you are stretching your network from your client machine till router. So your gateway will be your router or the device which is connected to internet. Now if somebody wants to do a trace route, okay, they will not be able to find FortiGate in between because the FortiGate firewall is hide. It is hidden basically in the network when you implement virtual wire okay so it's a logical wire but if uh, the user wants to know what are uh, what are the devices in the path he will not be able to find it out whether the fortigate firewall exist in the in between or not so basically the motive of virtual wire to hiding the firewall as well as at the same time processing all the security policy utm policy application control and everything right so with the help of virtual wire you are hiding your uh, firewall at the same time providing security as well okay now what is the use case of it so basically you can implement the FortiGate firewall in virtual wire basically at the perimeter location so basically perimeter location is where the internet is starts so basically you can assume this area as a perimeter area so if somebody is coming from internet or doing some trace from internet to check out like what are the devices inside it is there you can configure FortiGate as a virtual wire nobody will get to know that there is a firewall exist in this network or maybe if you are hosting a web server inside your organization in that case also you can do the same thing okay and the firewall does everything what is possible for it and it has some kind of ex exceptions which i'll talk about later not now okay so yeah uh, with the uh, with the help of virtual wire what we can do is you can implement the fortigate firewall in a hidden kind of a thing in the hidden in the network and at the same time it provides the security feature as well so you can implement this in a parameter so that if somebody is coming from outside to inside or going from inside to outside you are going to monitor it so you you will be keep on monitoring the traffic in a stealth manner so nobody knows but you are there right so yeah and now we'll see how we are con uh, going to configure this we'll go to the lab and see how so friends, uh, let's go to the lab and uh, before we do the configuration, let me explain you about the lab. Okay, so this is our inside network. Okay, uh, and this will be our outside network and this is the router which is connected to internet basically. Okay, and the port zero will be our MGMT basically we'll be connecting our local pc to this FortiGate firewall so that we will be able to log in from this port okay and this port 
port 2 and port 3 will be in the virtual wire okay so the traffic will be coming from inside going from outside and going to internet so from here till here this will be a single network for an example this will be 192 168 uh, 1.0 slash 24 and for this pc the gateway would be this one the interface so i have already configured nat over here and i have already configured ip address over here that's all i have done the configuration okay an IP address is already configured in both the interfaces and configured the NAT as well. So what we have to do is we have to configure a vWire in Fortinet and I'll show you how the traffic is getting passed. So what are the steps that we need to go and do configuration on Fortinet? I'll show you in this video. Okay. So friends, let's go to the dashboard of Fortinet and this is our dashboard and we are running right now 7.2.1. Okay. And it is running in NAT mode. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to go to network, okay? And we have to decide which all interface that I need to make it as virtual interface, okay? So we have a, a port two and port three, okay? So we'll create a new and we have to go to virtual wire pair, okay? And we have to name it here. So what we have to name it, anything. So we wire pair okay now i have to add the ports so port number two and port number three fine and if i want to allow any vlan any vlans on this ports then only i need to select it otherwise not required i'll just click ok and a v wire pair is already created now once you click it over here you will be able to see this interface right now once you create this interface you have to go back and create a policy okay so i'll just go to policy and object and there is a firewall policy and there is a firewall virtual wire pair policy so you have to go here and then you have to create a new okay so here you can put any name so i'll just put because i'm going from inside so i'll just put internet access so internet access right now basically once you do this you have to select the pair okay so i'm just selecting maybe uh, if you have more than uh, more virtual pairs you can select that as well here i will define any ip address so i'll just define all because i am not choosing any specific source or a specific destination so i'm not doing doing it right now okay so all as well because destination we are not sure because it is an internet if you want you can schedule this i don't want that i will allow all the services uh, the action would be accept okay i'm not turning on nat and inspection mode will be flow based i'm not doing is proxy based right now okay and after that uh, there will be a utm policy which you want to enable i'm not doing it right now because we just need to understand the virtual wire right now so i'm just leaving it as not selected and then i'm logging all the sessions that's all okay now if you want to do a packet capture i don't want to i want to enable the policy that's all okay so right now as you can see that i have created okay so whenever you create any policy there will be two ways so port 2 to port 3 port 2 to port 3 something like that so there will be a two-way communication that, that will be happening so you have to put the rule wisely you have to make sure that the traffic which is going from inside to outside or coming from outside to inside you have to allow that particular traffic accordingly okay i've allowed all all but in production you should not do that okay now uh, for testing purpose that's all we need to configure for the testing purpose we will go to the test machine i'll just turn on the logs and then i will just go here okay and I'll try to access some of the websites. Okay. So let's suppose I want to access YouTube.com. 
okay so now you can see it is going to google uh, youtube and then i will try to access google.com okay google.com right so i am able to access the google.com and if you see in the logs if i refresh this you will be seeing the google and i guess you should be seeing the youtube.com as well so and right now if you want to understand more about it maybe you can just go through all this details so policy id is internet access if you want to know where the policy is you can just go to the policy and you can see the internet access so with the help of this policy we are able to go to internet and what is the gateway that i have configured there will be no ip address we have configured so there was no ip address configured here and here only for the management we have uh, assigned an ip address to access it from here this is the ip address okay and the gateway what we have configured i'll show you okay so in the pc what is the gateway that i have configured let me go here and i will just type ip config okay so the default gateway is 192.168.1.10 right now if i go to the router and i'll show you the configuration so enable show ip interface brief and this is the ip address if you are able to see this okay so this is the ip address that i have configured as a gateway of this machine right so there is no ip address there is nothing if you want to do trace route and nothing will be uh, visible on the trace route that there is a firewall in between here and on uh, stealth mode you are actually monitoring the traffic you are processing the security policy you are seeing the traffic you are opening the traffic seeing what is happening and you are allowing that connection okay as per the policy what you are configured so friends this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you liked my video please hit the like button if you have increased your knowledge or if you have learned something new please do a comment if you have any suggestions please do email me or you can message me on instagram or messenger wherever you want thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much i'll see you in the next video